have the the eye boogies. The eye boogies? Are you sure you can do this episode? Dude, I can do anything I set my mind to. Good. All right, welcome back to Nintendo Cast episode three. How's it going, everybody? Uh, happy late Thanksgiving. Happy late Black Friday. Happy early Cyber Monday. Yep. All that good stuff. Looking uh, forward to our Christmas special. So have, we're gonna have some fun with that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know either, but we're gonna do something fun. Um. So yeah, this is episode three. We're still going strong. We did miss uh last this past week's episode of uh what was it for Glory Friday, but you know stuff happens. Black Friday comes up, family comes up. Yeah, we'll come back. We'll we'll come back this week. We'll probably try to episode, uh, upload something else too. Yeah, we're sorry for the two of you that we let down. <laughs> Gordo, <laughs> Gordo's out. Episode. Hey, Gordo. Yeah, we Gordo. know you're watching. We're sorry we let you down, man. I was ready to give you another shout out that episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So today on the list, we have eight things, nine things. One of them is just kind of like just a little our TNT. Yeah. <laughs> For, no, 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 that's later, that's later. That's the topic of the show. This is just for news. So this oh, cool. is this past week's news. Um, today is Sunday, the 29th of November. Right? This year's going yeah. by, yeah. Almost at Christmas time, almost December. Almost 2016, man. 2K16! Yeah. Alright. Um, Alright, first thing on the, on the ballot, like that? Yeah. Poly sign major. Wow. All right. <laughs> uh, Wii U helps drive Target's biggest online shopping day ever. Really? Yeah. Ever? Ever, apparently. Mm. Um, so, Wii U, obviously Black Friday sales, whatever, whatever. Everybody's rushing to get stuff. Wii U was one of their biggest selling things. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Um, one of their biggest, biggest, biggest selling retail items. I wonder if this will push back the NX now that they're actually starting to put some units out. Mm-hmm. If they're going to say, wait a minute, now that we're selling, maybe we should wait a little bit. You I know what I mean? Milk it for as much yeah. as it's worth before they switch it out. I don't think it's coming out next year. I know it's not coming out next yeah. year, but a lot I feel like two that, years. Yeah. Like, let's say it comes out the year after next. Two years isn't very long to have a very big install base. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like people who bought it are going to feel gypped if it comes out in two years. That's true. So I wonder if that'll influence their decision on uh, the NX's release date, which I think is smart that they've been holding that card close to their chest for a while now, you know? Mm-hmm. Which has given them this option because now that the Wii U is starting to, you know, boom a little bit in sales, yeah, um, they might be able to hold that card a little longer. Yeah, especially because, uh, you know, the new Zelda U is coming out for yeah, the Wii U next year, so. Which arguably should have been a launch title. For the NX or for... For the Wii U. Either. I mean, you always want a Zelda at launch. Pe- oh, people, for sure, yeah. People would have bought it like hotcakes if there would have been a Zelda yeah, on it, yeah. you know what I mean? Same thing with Smash Bros. Uh, there was a big jump in sales when Smash Bros. came out, too, mm-hmm. so it's like, I don't know, I feel like they're, maybe timing on releases could be better. But I mean, you know, they yeah, there's, do there's take a, their time, which is good. Yeah. There's a lot of things I think Nintendo could do that they that they should do, that they don't do. But, I mean, we started this podcast, or at least, let's just give you some background. We started this podcast because, at least me personally, I believe in Nintendo as a, they're one of the best companies around still. Yeah. And. Up there with Google in terms of, you know, listening to yeah, the customers. Yeah, for sure. And, and, I mean, it's it's just kind of sad the way, the way it's been going recently with, you know, their, their last two consoles, 3DS yeah. and Wii U. Well, no, 3DS is sold. Or, 3DS amazing. was good, but, I mean, it wasn't like. Their whole DS line has sold, like. Crazy. Handhelds have always been pretty good, but yeah. it was just like but the Wii U. Yeah, I think was the biggest. Even even the 3DS had. though kind of took a little bit to t- to pick up. Yeah, it took time. You're right. So, it did. so I think um, I just want to do this because you know everybody loves Nintendo. Everybody has nostalgia of Nintendo games. Yeah, and definitely. I think I think we um, I just really wanted to Excuse push me. for something out there because we love Nintendo so much, and we all have so much uh, so many memories and so much nostalgia with Nintendo. Yeah. So, anyways, back to the Black Friday. Yep, Wii U, one of the big targets, big biggest sellers. Along with, I thought, I just thought this was interesting, but the iPad apparently, so they sold an iPad every second throughout the day on Thanksgiving. Wow, that's crazy. Every second. literally every second, an iPad was sold Jeez. by Target on Thanksgiving. 
But now, does it say, do we know which one outsold the other? Like, did they sell more Wii U's, or did they sell more iPads? I'm pretty sure it was more iP uh, iPads. They were just saying, out of the consoles that they sold in video game stuff, Wii U was up there. Oh, okay, okay. So, it's just wow. nice to see that, that people are going out and buying it. Um, cool. I like that. Always yeah, good. Look forward to that. Um, next thing. Hoopa. Oh yeah, the new uh, the new legendary. Yeah. yeah, this ought to be good. Is is was it released? Uh, on Thanksgiving. It comes or out. Yeah, it came out. Think or it came out Black Friday. Ooh. And then it. Uh, the last day you can get it is the twenty third for for us USA America. Oh, nice. Um, I've been kind of interested in this Pokemon because the lore has been interesting with this Pokemon. Yeah, this is this is weird. It's it's like the one that's makes the portals right it's one with the rings but it also makes little portals or something doesn't it there's something about that yeah i think i i think i read something like that i honestly didn't even hear too much about it until like i started doing research for this episode oh really and i was like what the heck is hoopa yeah it was it was one of those ones that was in the code but it hadn't been released yet oh, okay yeah yeah it's kind of the same way we found out about deancy a long time before it came yeah. out too well this this actually came out in europe uh According to IGN, October 10th, on my birthday, actually. Oh, came out early. That's interesting. Yeah, and... Usually we get things first. But, no, it's pretty great. You go, Europe. So, <laughs> so Hoopa, new Pokemon. You want to pick it up, go to... It's a mystery gift in USA. It's only available at McDonald's. Apparently. Really? So you have to go to McDonald's and go to, like, local wireless, whatever, download that. All right. Um, <laughs> I mean, go get I'm a down big, for that. Big Mag while you're there or whatever. Yeah. Get it. Can I get a hoopa and a six-piece chicken nuggets? <laughs> <laughs> One hoopa, please. Um, Can you supersize mine? For the for the UK, visit participating game stores between October 23rd and November 5th. Ask the clerk for a special hoopa code. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, you have to ask for a code? Uh, this is for the UK. You have oh, to go to okay. game stores. Uh, for, for the US, like I said, just go to McDonald's. <laughs> go... It's between, a mystery gift on the Wi-Fi, I Yeah, guess. between November 27th to December 23rd. So, uh, you can get it for either X, Y, Omega Ruby, or Alpha, Alpha Sapphire. It's like mystery gift. Get it. Local wireless. Be local wireless. Uh, and then other European countries, you can download Hoopa. Got to go to GameStop or Micromania. What type is it? It is Psychic Ghost. Ooh, its ability so is Magician, which is... Let's see, I don't even know what that is. What the ability? Is. I don't remember. I've been out of the Pokemon game for so long now. Yeah, after Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out, that was a year ago, right? Yeah, because it came out twenty fourteen with Smash. Yeah, about that time. Yeah. Magician is a Pokemon ability that allows a user to steal the opponent's held item after your after an attack that hits the Pokemon after using an attack that hits the Pokemon. Hmm. So bad. I think that's like one of the only Pokemon you'd want to not have a held item on. Yeah. Yeah. It think, comes with a focus sash, by the way, if you pick it up. Oh, nice. You can so always use another focus sash. Get it at level 50. It comes with, so the moves you get it with are hyperspace hole. I don't know what that does. Nasty plot. <laughs> <laughs> what, sorry. What are you doing? <laughs> Matt made a face. I, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't I couldn't. It's couldn't a whole through hyperspace, man. Yeah. Uh, got that nasty plot hey. with the hyperspace hole. A uh, little psychic. And then astonish. When it goes, huh? <laughs> Astonish! <laughs> you remember I, that? No, how does how does it go? They they like hit you. In case like, anybody Poof! missed it. Oh, there you go. And the little like, like sweat drop comes out of you. Oh, where you like shake? You do that yeah. little shiver. It's so weird. Um, move always made me a little uncomfortable. I just felt kind of violated watching my Pokemon take that move. <laughs> I'm just like, where did they touch you, Pikachu? Apparently, with this, there's something cool. <laughs> With Hoopa in your party, visit any Pokemon in the game, and you can hear an eerie tale from a new shop clerk. And the hmm. clerk will then give you the prison bottle item. This item, use this item to change Hoopa's form for three days. After three days, it will revert back to its confined form. It can then be changed back to its unbound form if the item is used again. Its stats will change, will alter Psychic Ghost to Psychic Dark, and its signature move will shift from Hyperspace Hole to Hyperspace Fury. Hmm. Interesting. That's interesting. That's a cool that. Pokemon. I don't know what. I'm w wondering to see what that's gonna be in a in competitive play. Yeah. Probably OU. That doesn't sound that too. It doesn't sound too OP. I don't know the stats on it though. Yeah, I don't know the stats either. But still, that's 
kind of interesting that you have to change this form before battle. So, I wonder. Which and it one. only lasts three days. So what if you're like at a tournament, and then like you want to? Well, use... you can just change it right back. There's oh. no time limit. It's just it changes back automatically. You just need to. Turn oh it on okay. Again. Yeah. Oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. I just think that's interesting that you're like locked in for three days. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's weird. Yeah, that's so weird. That is kind of interesting. Hmm. Pokemon switching it up. Not like your Tina, where it's just. I think the reason they probably did that is so that you don't have to worry with held items. Because the Giratina, you had to be holding a certain item for it, didn't you? And Shaman, too? Yeah, you had to be... Yeah, they had, like, their... So now they figure... Their grass thing, or whatever yeah, it was called. They figure it's better, because now it can hold a different item and still change yeah. forms, you know? I think that's probably why they did it. <laughs> oh, we're in the comment section? This is going to be great. <laughs> I, the co- I went to my local Mc- McDo, and went to the bathroom, and the, the light went out. I tried to grab that Pokemon with all my nerdy strength in me. <laughs> And the light came back, and I noticed it was a small kid. And now I might face jail time. <laughs> uh, who was that? We need to do a... Gamer expert. Come yeah. on, gamer expert. You can't be grabbing kids in the, your local McDo. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. All right. I mean, I confuse small children for Pokemon all the time. Uh, so. Sometimes you're like, can we tend to wabbits, George? And you're oh. petting a little kid. Yeah, that's a long way to go for a mice, of Mice and Men reference. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next topic, number three. NES-inspired Friday 13th figure ships this week with musical packaging. You hear about this? No. I, I've seen the game. Like the, I know what you mean, because like, Jason's colored all weird. He's like purple. Yeah. What is it with purple with NES? Because I remember Batman was purple too, wasn't he? Was yeah, Batman I don't know. NES? It might have just been... Just purple and blue just look good. Whatever color, yeah. Whatever colors they can get out there. Oh, you know what it was? It was probably the same reason they made Mega Man blue. Because the NES, I think, had more shades of blue in its color palette than mm. any other color. So they probably just figured, just make the whole thing blue. <laughs> just make it blue. That's funny. Yeah. Let's go blue. You're my boy, blue. Uh, so That's cool looking, though. Yeah, it's yeah, that it's blue cool. and purple look. I dig that. Um, it comes... So yeah, the, 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 the this new Kickstarter thing. Um, basically, they just want to ship out a little figure. Um, eight bit Jason Voorhees figure from the original NES game, hmm. and it just comes with the game. I don't know if you ever played the. You said musical packaging. What does that mean? So music box. Music box. I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all it says is it comes packaged in a music box. Jason Voorhees. Um, I'm guessing it's gonna be like one of those little. The little opening box where they have the little ballerinas in them. And they spin and they play music. Oh, that's so cute. But instead it's going to be like death music. And it's going to be like... They're pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Get it for your little son. Yeah. Or your daughter. Yeah. Standing at seven inches. Boasting over 25 points of articulation. Mm. Figure comes packaged in a window box and mimics, mimics the looks of the eight... Eight bit cartridge box. Oh, do we bleep that or? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> technically, no, technically. No, we bleep it. It was a flub. I mean, I was just talking so fast that I said I was gonna say cartridge and bit. At the same bit. Yeah. No, I'm no, I'm yeah. Are you sure? All right. Yeah, I'm sure. So if he says a cartridge. <laughs> a cartridge. Can you not? <laughs> <laughs> other features include. I hope they're picking you up too, because it just makes this better. Other fe- other features include a machete, axe, harpoon gun, re- removable mask, and the disembodied head of Jason's mother. Oh my god! Nice. <laughs> that just got intense, dude. It's kind of doll I'd want to find if I were a kid. So that's cool. Yeah. If you if you ever played the NES, uh, Jason uh, Friday Thirteenth game, or that's your jam, then go pick it up, man. True. That's definitely one of those. One of those collectibles that I wouldn't want to take out of the box, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's Which not... kind of sucks, because it has so much neat stuff in there. Yeah. Neat. Ooh, neat stuff. Some neat, nifty little doodads. Like Jason's mom's head? Yeah. She gives the best thing. <laughs> she what? I said... I, I, uh, I, don't, I didn't I said, catch that. I so said, I know they didn't catch... The viewers at home didn't catch I said that. Article 4, Item 4. Uh-huh. According to Geek Snack, Super Mario Maker NES Remix event launched and they added a new costume to mario maker oh really yeah they added uh have you heard about this i i know you can get costumes based on your amiibos uh so 
Well, they added... Oh, the ah, frog suit. Frog suit. No way. Oh, that's, Mario, that's Super so Mario cool. 3. That's Super awesome. Mario Bros. Yeah, Are so. they going to... Can you only use that suit when you're in Super Mario Bros. 3 mode, or can you no, use no, it? No, no, you can use it in anything. Oh, that's so cool. I want to yeah. see what that looks like, like in the new Super Mario Bros. mode. Oh, that's true. I, I, like, the what's only that going to look like? Oh, the, they only showed it in 8-bit? Yeah. Oh, that's cool, I guess. So you get them, obviously, mystery mission. Yeah, that's that's neat. That's pretty great. <laughs> and then you just walk around. I'm down for that. Do they have the other costumes in there? I actually, because I haven't played it yet, I, have, I don't know. Yeah, they have, yeah, they have everything. Like, they have the Tanuki suit and everything in there? Uh, yeah. For sure. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I need to pick that game up. Yeah, I'll bring it back. We can play it. Yeah, you should. That'd be good. We'll do a uh, let's play. So if you have um, look forward to that. If you have Super Mario Maker, uh, go to event courses. Uh, I don't know. You can just go download it. Is it an update or? Yeah, it came with an update. Oh, cool. It came with the update, so. And so you can use it in your own levels now too, right? Yeah. Nice. Yep. Unlike the amiibo ones where you have to have the amiibo in order to have use the costume, mm -hmm. which kind of sucks, but this one's just free for everybody. So, this is probably a dumb question. I don't know if this is, works or not. If you're using an amiibo, yeah, and you know how you get to use a costume. Let's like, say I'm Link or whatever, or Mewtwo or whoever, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I pick up like a costume like that. How does that work? Is it just going to switch oh. me back to Mario in a frog suit? Or are they going to do that for every character? Like, here's Mewtwo in a frog suit. You know what I mean? I'm wondering how in-depth they're getting ready oh, to Oh, no, no. It just changes completely. It just changes you back yeah. to Mario? Yeah, oh, it just okay. changes you back. So, like, any... That'd be pretty neat. So, it counts as That'd a... It counts as a... Uh, like, a, a regular mushroom does when you get big. You just get hit and you go back to small Mario. So, if you're in any costume you're in, you get hit and you go back to regular Mario. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So. That's so cool. So that's the thing. Go pick up Frog Mario from uh, Super Mario, Mario Bros. Three. That's cool. Yeah, for for Mario Maker. Um, next thing, this is item five. I heard about this, but I didn't know what it was about. I saw the headline, but I haven't read the article. Yeah, uh, fans are giving Nintendo a run for their money with this incredible Zelda Twilight Princess remake. So on Game Nesia, there's a little uh, article written about basically these. So it's like a fan thing they're doing, uh -huh. and they're remaking Twilight Princess. Even in HD? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're remaking it better than... I mean, so like you even pointed out in the first uh, Nintendo cast how like you didn't think it looked the that... The graphics weren't yeah. that much of an update, yeah. Yeah, so I I think everybody else felt the same way. So um, They're really see. giving Nintendo a run for their money on this <laughs> one, I guess. Yeah, they... they That's pretty funny. They updated like some light textures and like shadow textures and stuff. Hmm. So it looks. I I saw the video and it, it actually does look pretty, pretty nice. I don't yeah, know if you can see cool. it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that does look pretty good. It's a nice. So yeah, it's some good stuff they got there. So you want to oh, go no. Gamnesia? Go check out the article. It's like Twilight Princess fan remake. Um. They they do talk about getting um getting sued for this. Getting it taken down. They are getting sued for it. No no, no so so the, it says uh this remake will run on the. Ishiruka emulator, and when mm -hmm. asked the team if, what they would do if they got a cease, cease and desist from Nintendo, uh, Hamasaki responded that he wasn't really worried about happening about that happening since the remake will still require a physical copy of Twilight Princess from oh, either okay. the GameCube or the or the Wii. Oh, okay. So it's gonna you still need to have a physical copy of the game in order. Yeah, you to still run need this. to buy Nintendo's. Thing. Yeah, it's, and they so said, it's more like a mod than anything else. Yeah, basically. Oh, that's cool. But then they were they said even if the team is asked to stop, he was like project will finish one way or another so he pulls some savage moves so he's basically saying so you know nintendo is, bring it we're still gonna do it so what i'm hearing is hamasaki's the biggest thug in japan right for now. for sure true for sure i associate with that individual yeah i think that we covered that last time <laughs> i made that mistake before the yakuza tweeted him said oh they're coming for him oh okay just like i didn't when... know nintendo had the yakuza <laughs> in their pocket like that <laughs> hey you gotta. They know some big people. All right. Um, so Nintendo, yeah. Nintendo Free Del Chapo. <laughs> <laughs> they just. They just got a. They got a hand in every. Uh, every mafia in the world. That's funny. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm. I'm probably just gonna just get the regular Nintendo Wii U mm -hmm. one yeah. with the amiibo. I don't think I'll play this. Yeah. To be I honest. Won't, yeah, I probably won't go out of my way to play it either. So. I just. I do want that amiibo though. Are you actually going to play Twilight Princess though, when it comes out on the Wii? Eh. Yeah, probably. I liked it. It was one of my favorites. 
It was definitely one of my favorites. Top five, probably, I'd say. Top five Zelda games for me. So I just thought that was interesting. They decided to make... Uh, That's even funnier, because... Make... So they decided to make this after... I don't know. After the announcement? Because they made it before the announcement. I could see, like, I feel oh, like... hey, that's funny. They were already making it. But did yeah. they make it, like, after? They were just so dissatisfied with the quality of the yeah, trailer? Yeah, no, it says, like... it says remake since before Nintendo's announcement. Oh, okay. So that's, yeah, so that's even better. So it's, it's not, not like, like they're trying to yeah. step on their toes or anything. Yeah. But that did get leaked, though, before the Nintendo Direct. I don't oh, know if did you it? were. Yeah, I didn't know that. people knew that Twilight Princess was going to get announced. Hmm. As I didn't remake. know. But... I wasn't keeping up with it. Um. Anyway, yeah, so that's cool. next. All right, so six and seven. It's like seven and eight. Um. Did I ever talk about? Oh, Pokemon, Pokemon Picross. No, okay. is it out yet? It got a release date, December third. December third. Nice. Yes. Yeah, all they said was the direct was early December, so it's December third. No, oh, yeah. Jen's been looking forward to it. I told so. you that, right? She's mm-hmm. like went lost her lost her mind. Yeah. Yeah, she's been playing like a knockoff on the App Store on Android. Oh man, you need to get that po- the real Pokemon one, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm gonna play that. It's actually a fun game. It is. Like, she let me play some of it. I'm like, I, I can do this. Um, next thing. So these are ba- these are the last two things, and it's just two uh two articles that I saw on Kotaku. Mm-hmm. That's um they just rated the best top ten, 3DS games in the top ten. I mean top twelve. My bad. 3DS mm-hmm. games in the top twelve uh, Wii U games. Okay. That, that so are out see right now, and it agree. always up, it always updates. Oh, it updates. Yeah, well, they've so, been updating their list. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. So, but these are the ones right now. So, as of eleven uh, November twenty ninth, are, are they in any particular order, or is it just top twelve? I don't. Let me see if they're numbered. Like, is number one like the very? It best? doesn't say. It's oh, they're just, not even numbered. Oh, okay. No, they're not numbered. That's cool. We'll see so, what we got. So yeah, I just thought it'd be interesting just to go through. So for the three DS. Top 12 best games, according mm-hmm. to Kotaku. Let's see how much we agree uh, on the 3DS. First one is An- Animal Crossing New Leaf. I saw that one coming. Yeah, that's a good game. For sure. Definitely. It's Animal Crossing. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not a big Animal Crossing fan, but th- that game was huge. Yeah. Like, it's super fun. Like, that was, a, that was a system seller, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Fire Emblem Awakening. Uh, I knew it was big. It I was really good. It. I played it. It was really good. Really? Okay. So yeah, beat it. But... I... Okay, thanks for throwing your two cents. This is so, why you're behind the camera. Yeah, finish finish Lunatic first before you start talking. I finished Lunatic. I have not finished Lunatic. Oh, whatever. Uh, Phoenix Wright, Dual Destinies. I haven't played it. I bought the the, the trilogy though uh-huh. on the on the eShop. You so I, I've never played any Phoenix Wright game. So I want to play through all of them. A lot of reading. I'm down for that. <laughs> I like reading. It's good though. Reading's cool. No, it's a good game. Good game. Um. Phoenix Wright, of course, saw that coming. Legend of oh, Zelda, Link Between Worlds. Good, that was a great game. I love that game. I, that, I think that was the only, actually, that was one of only three or four Zelda games I've ever hundred percented. Nice. It was really addicting. It was a, it was amazing. The ending was so good. I feel like I saw it coming, but I didn't at the yeah. same time. It was oh, so yeah, good. Oh yeah, I know you, you're talking about. If you haven't played it, you need to play it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's probably definitely one of the best. games. Did you beat it? I made this guy play it. He never, yeah, yeah. he didn't beat it. Come on. He's never beat a Zelda game before. Yeah, so. that's why I want to beat it. It took you... How long did it take you? I just want to point this out. We wait, You wasted three hours of my life? Literally. Like, oh, literally, I was counting. Three hours <laughs> of my life <laughs> on, like, the, the first island. He doesn't read anything. This is why you'll never beat a Zelda game. Um, Do you understand that? Roost, Roost Island? Yeah, Dragon Roost Island. Dragon Roost Island. He had to deliver the letter to the, to the <laughs> prince. To the princess. To the, the princess? No, to the prince. The prince. prince. To the prince. Oh, the yeah. crying prince. He had, to, he had to deliver the letter to the king's son and it took him three hours we ran around that island and he's at like, least a hundred times I don't know what to do he's like, like I don't know what to do this game's <laughs> stupid I'm like maybe it's bugged and I'm like just let me take the controls I ran around for like 15 minutes I'm like looking through his inventory I'm like what's this and he's like it's a letter I don't know where I got that I'm like it says to take it to the king's son and he's like so I don't know where stupid. it came from I don't know when I got that and I'm just like that was pretty funny. I was, I was this close. I was this close Ooh. to slapping those glasses right Ooh. off your face, Matt. I right hate you so face. much in that moment. He's about to Mike Tyson. That was me. three hours of my life just down the drain because uh, you couldn't read. So, Link Between Worlds, amazing how they just integrated the whole painting thing yeah. and going on the walls. That and, mechanic was great. Man. And switching between the dark world and the light yeah. world. Yeah. That was good. Low so rule. much stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah, low rule. 
Uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. It was fun. It, it was fun on 3 I like I liked the GameCube one, and I was actually really excited when I found it was getting a sequel. You don't like it? Because I was like, no, I did like it. I was just surprised that it got a sequel. Oh, okay. It's like Super Mario Sunshine. I liked it, but I'm going to be yeah, surprised yeah, yeah, when yeah. it gets a sequel. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I hope they get a sequel. Yeah. That, we just talked about that yeah, last episode. <laughs> um, yeah, the game was fun. It was really fun. Did you play it? Yeah, I did. I think I borrowed yours. And I played oh, it. yeah, you did. You did. It was and, fun. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. I think that was like the last physical copy I bought of a Nintendo 3DS game. That's funny. There's yeah, this, I started, started did, blowing up. I started getting a lot of downloads too. Yeah. Uh, next one, Monster Hunter Four Ooh, Ultimate. Ooh, that was a good game. I, I wasted a lot of hours on that game. That was a good I game. played it. It was just I played it by myself, so it was like oh, hard that's not as to. Fun. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's still fun in the beginning, but once you start getting with the really tough monsters, you're like, ah, yeah, there's I just need such. A team. A, I feel like there's such a high learning curve. There's so much there stuff, is, yeah. and it's like. But once you're in, you're in. You know what I mean? Because yeah. once you figure it out, it's just. Oh, it's addicting because you're like, I just need this one stupid piece. I just need a, I just need a scale. I need one more scale. Yeah, that was big though. Monster Hunter uh, Four, such a good game. Uh, and then Mario Kart Seven. I Actually, played I haven't more. played it yet. Yeah, but I have not played Mario Kart Seven. I played eight. Wait, what? You never I played, played Seven on 3DS? No, I didn't play th- the 3DS one. That came out in like 2012 or something. It came out like with the 3D, like around the time <laughs> 3DS came out. I still what haven't the played heck? it. That's crazy. Yeah, I still haven't played it. That was my jam. I need I need to play it because I love Mario Kart. It's that's funny. Yeah, I remember actually. I remember vividly being in eighth grade, one of the, like in the last week of school. We were in I think it was in science class. Yeah, Mr. White, shout out to you. You hated me. I don't know why. <laughs> um, yeah, no, he really was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting that out there. That's not slander. He's a racist. Okay. I hate that guy. Okay. Um, it's not that bad because nobody knows where I went to high school, where I went to middle school. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, we were playing Mario Kart, making ice cream. Yeah. Last couple of days of school, uh-huh. pretty good. It was fun. Nice. Mario Kart was the jam. Uh, Professor Layton and the Azrin Legacy. I haven't played. I haven't played any of these, to be honest. My sister loved them. I remember really? I used to, she used to have a, a, a DS Lite, I think, oh, okay. way back then, and uh, she loved Professor Layton. She loved it. There were some puzzles she'd get me to solve Yeah, it's just puzzles, right? For. Yeah, it's super fun. Puzzles and minigames? Yeah. I think it, no, I think it's just puzzles. Uh, like, they're all, like, riddles and stuff like that. And some of them, like, they're, like, real-world stuff. Like, I remember to figure out the one that she told me. I had to look at a keyboard. Oh, what the? Like, an weird. actual, like, QWERTY keyboard. That's funny. I was like, what? Like, that's you have, cool, though. Yeah, they're really clever puzzles. That's why I really enjoyed it. Like, I meant to play them, but I just never got around to it. Uh... Yep, Legend, Legend, uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Yeah. I remember before this Man. got announced, how you were like, if they just make a remake of, of Majora's Mask, please, please, I would love that. And they and did. And then they made it, and they and made I was it just like, like oh. the special edition 3DS oh, yeah. with it too. I know, I looked everywhere for that 3DS, I couldn't find it. So, so I, was, I was sad. But I mean, I'm glad I didn't, because now I got the new 3DS XLs, I'm like... I would have had to replace it anyway. Yeah. Actually, was it a new 3DS? No, I don't know. I think it was just an XL. I don't think it was. Yeah. So, like I said, I'm kind of glad I didn't because I wouldn't want to, I would have broken my heart to have to replace it so soon. Majora's Mask, one of those games that people either love it to death or they're just like, eh, it wasn't yeah. for me. I loved it. As a kid, I loved it. It was just so, like, in-depth, you know? It was, like, the first game that really got me, like, into, like, really story-driven mm. games. I loved it. Uh, next one, Box Boy. I haven't played it. I heard it's really good. I haven't it's played either. Platformer, right? So yeah, it's, it's like supposed right to be. Up my alley. It's supposed to be kind of like Portal-ish, huh. and you're using different, um, different. You build boxes. Different mechanics, I guess. Yeah, diff- you build boxes to like get up and like platforms and stuff. Yeah, it's a little platformer, it's a little cool indie. So it's cool. It looks cool. Yeah. I'll probably pick it up. I'll probably go download it tonight. Yeah, play that. Uh, I'm gonna play through with that with a uh, typo man. Yeah, I want to do, do typo man. Play. Side scroller playthroughs. Yeah, uh, and then Pokemon X and Y. Oh, I mean. Yeah, this was okay. honestly like when this when Pokemon X and Y came out, I didn't. It think was a game changer. It, I didn't think it was gonna be as good as it was. Yeah, me either. I was especially after after coming Black off, and White yeah. was kind of a letdown for me. I yeah, for, think it yeah, was my too. least favorite of all of them. Yeah, um, and that, I think Black and White was actually the first time I didn't like a Pokemon game. Like all of them were good. I didn't mm-hmm. like Black and White though, or Black and White too. I tried, um, but X and Y just. It was a game changer for me. I loved it. Mega Evolutions. I remember being super iffy about them at first. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, then it. I was like, I was on the same boat as everybody, everybody else. Where I'm like, oh no, it's becoming Digimon. Yeah. What's happening? And no, it's so good though. 
It's yeah, great. no, they they really did well with with X and Y. Yeah, that's that's like my second favorite. Uh, um, gen. gen yeah generation two like my first is gen three because that's when i grew up oh and then I, they made the remake so you yeah yeah like, then then yeah, and the x and y came out and i was like oh my god this is actually really good yeah and the pokemon in there were, were good too like yeah there wasn't anything where i felt like we're black and white there was some kind of pokemon there was just some was pokemon like, was like uh, yeah, really yeah like garbador yeah vanillux x and y is good yeah and then super oh, mario 3d land i 100 percent of that game so fast i not because it was super easy which it was kind of easy in the beginning like most mario games these days it only gets hard if you go the extra mile and like do all the bonus levels and everything but that game was so addicting yeah it was it was so good i loved it super mario 3d then they made the super mario 3d it's a must play it really is a must play uh what's next i think that's That's it it. yeah so that was that was the top 12 for Um, 3ds right Yeah. yeah for 3ds that game was amazing so that's the list. I liked it. I, I agree pretty much wholeheartedly with that list. Uh, let me go over it real, real quick again. Uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fire Emblem Awakening. Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies. Uh, Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. Shh. Luigi's Mansion. Dark Moon. Dark Moon. Yep. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Mario Kart 7. Uh, Professor Layton and the Azrin Legacy. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, Box Boy, and Pokemon X and Y. Oh, and Super Mario 3D Land. Oh, dude. Yes. That game, like, gave me hope again for 3D Mario games. Because, I mean, I liked Super Mario Galaxy. But I don't know why. I just didn't. I don't mm-hmm. know. Like, it just didn't that. resonate with me as much as 3D Land and 3D, 3D, 3D World really did. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> I was pleasantly surprised. Like, it was just kind of back to roots, and I loved it. Uh... I think the only thing on here, I agree with it. Maybe, it's, I think it's kind of biased because I never played the Layton series, but I would say maybe take out Layton for like Dream Team or something or Ocarina of Time. Yeah. But, because when, when I think of the best of 3DS, I think of System Sellers in my my mind. And I guess Box Boy too, it's more of an indie, but I mean, it could be the best. Yeah, maybe it's a real sleeper hit because we haven't played it. So yeah. People sleeping on it, maybe. So, Cause yeah, Star Fox sixty four three D. I feel like should have been there too. I love that game. <clears throat> um, and then next, we're just gonna go over the the best for the Wii U. According to Kotaku, Kotaku, hell ye, Nintendo faithful, Super Mario three D World first one. Yes, of course. Yes, I was super stoked for this game after I played yes. it. Then. Yes, 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 love that game. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Super Smash Bros. I'm um, guessing. The... I don't know. I mean, I guess. Yeah. We obviously. Fit Trainer. Hello. Yeah. Wow. How was We Fit not on here? How was We Fit not first on the list? I know for real. Yeah. That's that's. that's yeah. Smash uh, Bros. Yeah. I mean, if you if you didn't, I don't know why that one wasn't the first one. Yeah, like... for sure. Uh, Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker HD. Yeah. It's good. I respect Great. it. Loved it for the for the Wii U. Yeah. Splatoon. Sure. I haven't played it yet, but like I said, I, it's, 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 it's blowing sure. up. So yeah. yeah. Um, Little Inferno. I have not even heard of that. It's an indie game. Apparently, it has challenges. I've never played this. Uh, interactive fireplace challenges you to burn various things. Has an emotional storyline. Hmm. Uh, it's from the world of goo people. Oh, okay. The world of goo. I heard that game was good. <laughs> really best. Of cool. Uh, Bayonetta two. I heard they were both amazing. Haven't played it either. Yeah, I saw this coming. Yeah. It was good. Did you uh, like it? Did you play it? Yeah, it was, it was, I mean, it was okay. Oh, this next one. Dude, you're scrolling. Okay. Nintendo Land. I love that game. I that love Nintendo Land. Nintendo Land is, Nintendo Land is the sole reason I bought a Wii U. Nintendo Land is like, if Wii Sports was actually good. Ooh. And it was like Nintendo themed. I liked Wii Sports, don't get me you wrong. Funny. <laughs> but Nintendo Land is amazing. This article says, Nintendo Land is sort of the Wii U's version of Wii Sports, except that its games are more substantial. <laughs> yeah and not as simply purely brilliant yeah obviously it's amazing yeah it's really catch cool. the mario is a yeah. freaking hit i love the the luigi luigi's mansion game on that too. yeah oh so good that's so good. that's honestly like after i played it here at your house i was like i want i want a wii u i want yeah. to play this nintendo land so good 
If you don't have, if you have a Wii U and you don't have Nintendo Land, go pick. You're it up wasting your sure. time. Yeah, you wasted your money. You need to get Nintendo Land. Like, if you have a bunch of people, especially people who generally don't play games. Yeah. Like, if you're at a party, yeah, you can just jump in. You can it. just put in Nintendo Land, and people are gonna have fun. Like, there have been times where, like, I'm friends with a bunch of dorks naturally, so I take my Wii U to parties. Yeah. You know, no, I respect so, it. I respect so we'll be playing Smash Bros. And then sometimes people who aren't big gamers, they'll play Smash Bros. And they'll feel like they're not very good at it. Yeah. We'll, in, we'll pop in Nintendo Land. And dude, yeah, people, anyway. people are ready to fight over, <laughs> over finding the Mario, yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's so funny. There's nothing more fun than watching a bunch of drunk people try to coordinate and catch <laughs> Mario. It's so funny. Uh, don't drink until you're over 21. Yeah. We don't condone drinking. Unless you're in Europe or any other country, then it's 18. Yeah. Don't America's drink until you're of legal drinking age in your territory. Pikmin 3. Yes. I, I want to play this. We need to you play haven't it. played it? You have it. I haven't what? played it. It's amazing. It's good. <laughs> I loved it. Okay. It's short, though. Yeah. It's my only complaint. It was really good. But it was, it really, was really short. short. I liked it, too, because the time thing isn't as much of a big deal because it's so easy to extend your time. But it's so good. For sure. I we, need it. To, we need to play this and I'll be Alf. Yeah. Alf is the homie. True. Um, Super Mario Maker course i haven't played it but it looks yeah, amazing this, but yeah i need to buy it it's huge um mario kart 8 of course obviously mario kart had to be on here it's yeah. so good it's the the only mario kart you can play on wii u right now mm. um wonderful 101 Kinda i like this is on here i'm not it was a good game it was super fun super cute i've seen a, i've seen I a lot of it. gameplay of it but i've never played this i have it i thought i lent it to you mm. i lent it to somebody it's super good i love it i know you can like fuse up with all the yeah it's it's fun it's just make, fun yeah. and wacky and i love it and zombie you i didn't play it but it didn't really catch my eye eh. especially now that it's getting there, ported over to other systems yeah. it's just zombie <laughs> they're saying this is the best third party game on the wii u really um hmm. i didn't play it like i said so i it just kind of looked would, whatever yeah so. but i mean hey i'd much rather play uh anything know, else <laughs> <laughs> or <laughs> Call of Duty Zombies, to be honest. Oh, but hey, I mean, COD Zombies is good. It's the only reason I think anybody still plays COD. Zombie Youth, if that's your if that's your thing, no hate, yeah. man. Um, oh, yeah, that's that was it. it. Yeah, no, yeah. I agree with the list though, except for Zombie U. Zombie U. I think it was the only one that was on there. I was like, mm. what would you put on there instead? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I really liked Rayman Legends. Or Origins, sorry. Mm. Even Origins was good. I played I it on the PS4. On I played it on the PS4. But it is on the Wii U, and mm. it is worth playing. It is a good game. Those music levels, so much fun. The, there's a music level at the end of every world. Have I shown you? No, I haven't. I haven't played it yet, though. Oh, really? For you... PS4? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. The music levels are so fun. It's funny. They're, they're like little like uh, treats that make you want to keep playing the game because you want to see what the next music level is at the end of the next That's world. Funny. Oh, so they're like just all strings so... together? Yeah, Okay. because it's like, you have the world, you have one world, and then you have, at the end of each world, you have a music level, and uh, they're all covers. They're all real songs. Oh, Like, the first one is Black Betty. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, and they're all, like, done in Rayman, very that's typical funny. Ubisoft style, and it's amazing, and it's so fun to play, and they're, they're speedrun levels. They're basically mm. levels where if you stop running, you'll yeah, yeah, you'll die. So you have to play through it sometimes, like, three times if, you know, the level's difficult. Really good. It's funny, um... It was actually updated last of this list, and they took off Rayman Legends, and they put oh, on really? Super Mario Maker. Oh. Which is weird. I thought, yeah, take off Zombie Wii. Come on, Zombie Wii. Yeah, I mean, I haven't played it. Maybe it is that good, but, I mean, I don't know how zombies can beat out Rayman. I mean, come on. So, yeah, that's it for the news. I love it. Um, so, what's our... What's, what's the TNT? So, TNT... We have to, we have to keep this in sync. Yes. So, I'm going to be like... TNT and you're gonna be like a big blown thing. away. Yeah, it's like oh yeah. And you get <laughs> it's sound, not like that. The sound clip in there make, make yourself <laughs> useful. Because literally, all you've been doing this whole episode is sitting behind the camera and laughing. I've been fixing the. We love you. <laughs> no, we love you. Um, so today's TNT. This is distracting. <laughs> this ASMR tab <laughs> that's open. <laughs> um, the TNT for today is. Which would you rather prefer, Nintendo handhelds or Nintendo consoles? If you could only choose one, one had to go. Which one would you? That's hard. And it could be any of any of the versions. It could be Game Boy Advance. 
pretty much you pick one and you only get all the handhelds from Nintendo or you get all the consoles from Nintendo. That's really hard because, I mean, obviously the consoles, because I play Smash Bros, yeah. are like a big draw. And that the big budget games go on the consoles. Yeah. But they do have Smash Bros on 3DS. Yeah, it's not the same. It's I not guess. The, it's yeah. not the same. It makes sense. It makes sense. Nobody plays competitive 3DS yeah. Smash Bros. <laughs> I know. Like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If you wanted your Smash fix, you could still yeah. get some of it off of 3DS. I mean, because my big gripe is this. I would miss, like, the 3DS is, like, big, like, variety of games. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, their indie games are good. Like, a, you know, Gunman, Clive, stuff like that. I played all that on the 3DS. Um, puzzle games generally are also handheld things. And I love puzzle games, so I feel like I'd never get to play another decent puzzle game again. Like, Picto Bits, man. Did you play Picto Bits? I didn't play Picto Bits. Dude, it was a DSiWare <laughs> title. I still play, go back and play that game. That game Sorry. is so fun. But so I, I'd have to say consoles. What is it? Picto bits. Picto bits. Yeah, it's like imagine like reverse Tetris, where like there are like shapes falling, and you have to take just individual squares and try oh, and complete okay. the shapes that are falling. Interesting. To edge them out, and then of the ones that you get of the different colors, they go up and complete a picture in the top screen. Oh, okay. Pic, uh, like a pixel. That sounds cool. Yeah, and the level ends when you're able to complete the whole picture. Nice. So, like if you're Can playing you Zelda, yeah, if it stacks all the way up. Oh, like okay. I see, yeah. So like I said, it's reverse Tetris. Okay. And the music in that game is so good. Like, they're all, like, remixes of the themes of the games that that level is based on. Ice Climbers, number two. Like, Ice Climbers, song two on mm-hmm. PictoBits. That song goes hard. <laughs> they go crazy. Like, the, there's, like, banger. Pi- yeah. They're, like, it's, like, a chip tune like, crazy <laughs> solo where That's they're, like, funny. getting bluesy as hell, and it's great. The music in that game is amazing. So, I'd have to say console, but it would be with a heavy heart because I love... I love puzzle games and I love handheld. I respect that. Um, man, this is a hard one when I when I thought of it too. I think like I asked Matt and he said consoles, like just because obviously it's better hardware. Uh, yeah. They can put more stuff on it. But personally, because I never owned a Nintendo console and all I ever owned was handhelds, I'm gonna go with handhelds. Really? That's where I have all my memories from. Like, yeah, growing up. Like, Pokemon. Like, Pokemon, you'd be missing out on a lot, you know? So, you're like, right. But. I mean, mainly Pokemon. From from the yellow, like, Game Boy Color, playing Pokemon. <laughs> uh, playing, playing, you know, just... Oh, man, there were so many good games on the Game Boy Color. On the Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance was huge. Yeah. Had so many good titles on there. Game Boy Advance had a lot of good games, yeah. And the the DS... Um, the what was the what was the little the square one it was sp yeah the, the game Boy advance sp oh my god that was my jam dude that was a good game that I, was a good console i love that handheld. i love that thing and then they came out with the the nes little like oh i have that one yeah i have that one yeah so, i still have that one somewhere. so dope um and then it just got better yeah their their handheld game has been the best no one compares to nintendo for sure yeah handheld they, yeah handheld games. yeah i mean yeah. even like app store games don't even come close yeah like PSP maybe was like it was close for a while, cool, but even then, Nintendo, it's just not on that Nintendo's level. king for sure in handhelds. Like yeah. maybe Tamagotchis. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. I mean, they did get into the Tamagotchi <laughs> games with the Pocket Pikachu. Remember that? True, true. That's that was fun. I still have that one laying around somewhere too. So personally, I say handhelds because. That's where I have all my fondest uh, memories. Like I said, I can't blame. I'm surprised, but I honestly I can't blame. I you. used to remember. I used to take my like my Game Boy Advance into the shower, and I would sit in the shower for like hours and just play. Just like like with the like with the water just hitting me on my back and just like the thing sticking out so it didn't get wet, obviously. And I would just play for hours, like whatever I was playing. I would take it everywhere. I, cool. I had the I had the little light cable to stick in the oh, top yeah, of it, yeah. and I'd be playing in bed and I, when like. Because I was supposed to be in bed, asleep. Yeah, make sure your mom didn't see you. Yeah. yeah. Same, same. All, all my memories, man. Oh, yeah. And like are, I said, I never... fond memories. I never really owned... I The first console I actually owned, owned myself, was probably the Wii. Really? And then Wii U. Yeah, my, my first Nintendo console... Actually, it was actually my first console ever, was the Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. And then after that was the Nintendo 64, and then that's that's that when I really changer. fell in love. Yeah, Nintendo yeah. 64 was a game changer because I mean, I played my first game ever. Actually, was uh, Super Mario All Stars. So okay. it had it had like all the Mario games in there. Yeah. So that's when I fell in love with side scrollers and Mario games and everything. 
Um, and then, I mean, I had like other games. Like I had Street Fighter Two, and I had uh, Mortal Kombat Two. So fighting games obviously were yeah, in there too. Sure. And um, so like Super Nintendo really planted the seed, but Nintendo sixty four really sealed the deal. Like Banjo Kazooie, you know, Super yeah. Mario sixty four. Those games just like oh Yoshi Story can't ever forget Yoshi Story or Star Fox sixty four like those games just like they were nailed in the coffin I was hooked forever for sure yeah I respect it I was like a kid though so I didn't grow up with it although my my grandparents did have um they had both the NES and a, and a SNES so mm-hmm. I guess I kind of like played other games but I was mostly but like by the when we came when we were you know like kids the PS one was pretty much already out. Yeah. So I was already playing PlayStation One all the time. Yeah, I mean, cause and then Sega when I got home. Yeah, I had a PlayStation. I never, I literally never had a Sega console except for the Dreamcast, though. I had the Genesis. Yeah, and my I cousin had a Genesis, it. so I played Sonic at his house. And then when Sonic Adventure got announced, I saw like saw like a commercial, and I was like, Dreamcast. I was like, I need to. Sonic Adventure was like amazing. Mm. I loved that game. So I mean, I had to get a Dreamcast. I'm kind of sad that that console kind of died <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of sad that sega doesn't make hardware do anything do any, yeah i'm surprised i'm do sad something sonic with, games suck yeah too, make yeah. at least a good sonic game what are you doing i mean what this, which brings right, up the question to nintendo no this brings up the question though what would you rather have the sega dilemma where they still make sonic games but they're all god awful mm. or the capcom dilemma where they just don't even make Mega Man games anymore i mean <laughs> I don't know. If you like, would trying. you rather just never make a Sonic game again and just have all the at fond least, memories? At you least know? the hype will be real instead of just making trash games where you're like, God, not another <laughs> Sonic <laughs> game. And it sucks, dude, because Sonic Generations was actually pretty good. That was, like, it was close. I mean... Because I, I remember Sonic Unleashed, the daytime levels when you played a Sonic, like regular Sonic, not that abomination that is that <laughs> werewolf Sonic, werehog yeah. thing. Um, those levels were fun. They reminded me of Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, that style. Um, and then they kind of did that again in Sonic Generations. Yeah. I liked it. I had fun with it. Um, it could have been a little better because I feel like the story was kind of stupid, but yeah, I really, I really enjoyed that game. That and it was super cute seeing little classic Sonic and, you We know, were just watching uh, Sonic. Game oh. Grumps' Shadow. Oh, what was it? Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> that game is so terrible. Why, why did you make that game? Who wanted that game? Why like, did he have a gun? <laughs> AK-47. Why did he have a vehicle? Like a motorcycle. He's so fast. It that doesn't game. make any sense. <laughs> that game was so trash. Why? All it's Sonic games. Game. Sorry. I, I, this is a Nintendo podcast, though. Uh, I mean, it was on GameCube. Sega, you destroyed yourself. <sighs> yeah. This is why we're having Nintendo cast, not Sega cast, okay? Because they ran themselves into the ground. <laughs> <I know. laughs> We'd have no news every week. But anyways. Oh, God. All right. Yeah, handhelds for me. Yeah, consoles. consoles. for you, for yeah. sure. I guess, like, you grew up with the 64, so I don't know. It'd be kind of hard to give that away. Yeah. Those and are some fond memories. The GameCube, too, is good if, yeah. if you're into it. If you bought, like, the 10 good games that were on it. No, there were a lot of good games on it. <laughs> Where you had a, the NES put in that Konami code. True, true. But, anyways, thanks for watching. That was uh, the third episode of Nintendcast. Um, I mean, hopefully hopefully we can start getting some more, get some more traction. I mean, we're, we've been doing, I think we've, we've been doing the show every week pretty consistently. Yeah. So we can start putting ourselves out there more. We can put ourselves on iTunes maybe. So people, we can have a little catalog so anybody can go back and be like, hey, there's at least three episodes instead of just one where they're like, well, now I have to wait for next episode. Yeah. So um, spread the word. If you like this, you know, like, comment, subscribe, go on SoundCloud, Twitter, follow us on Twitter at NintendoCast, SoundCloud at NintendoCast, um, Nintendo Broadcast, YouTube Nintendo Broadcast. Just type in NintendoCast and you'll find us. Yeah. And... Um, I think really what we need to start doing too is uh, we're going to start doing shorter episodes, like smaller bits. Because I know sometimes, especially me, I don't yeah. feel like watching like a whole hour long podcast. Yeah, there there are some shows that, that separate topic by topic and then they it, they upload the long episode for everybody. Mm-hmm. Some people do like long form yeah. and then some people do like shorter. Shorter bits, yeah. They yeah. just like to get to the topic. So we can do that. Here. Yeah. We're just, we're just experimenting. Um, once we start getting some traction, we can, we'll go on Reddit, we'll be like... Hey, you guys want a cool podcast to listen to about Nintendo? Yeah, check out thing. Um, so yeah, 
my name's Paul. I am. What was my the what was my? No, 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 no. Oh no! The thing we're I not say. Doing this, we're not doing. This, oh, okay. <laughs> what was my saying? I thought I thought you were talking. Yeah, no. <laughs> when you said I always say something during the show. Oh, have you heard this? Paul, have you heard the Zuniga? This is a Manny Sexy Smash Bear. <laughs> please don't. That, please don't sound like that a thing. I don't want people to have to Google that. Like, we'll stop that. We'll stop. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm just doing it for our brand. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't want people to type in Sexy Smash Bear and just, <laughs> just be scarred for life. You know what I mean? Um, it's and like lemon, Matt, it's certain lemon stealing individuals. It's like, I'm never going to. What? Nothing. Nothing. Who's stealing lemons? That's a, it's a joke for another time. It's just something you don't want to Google. <laughs> Anyways, uh, from us to you, thanks for watching. And we hope you had a good Thanksgiving. See you next episode.